Welcome back to the program, everyone. And with us today, um, a guest that needs no introduction is our favorite, Mayor Johnson. Always happy to have you here at the show. Sue, so thank you. Glad to be here as always. Well, as you and I and everyone knows, um, Elk Grove Village excels at number one in many different uh, topic matters, right? But there's one coming up that we're celebrating five years uh, called uh, Elk Grove Community Cares. Is that what we, would you tell us a little bit about this? And one time, I mean, aren't we like first of other communities to begin a program as this? Yes, um, when we first hired our, first our last police chief, Chuck Walsh, his first job was to be to find a program to attack the disease of addiction. And to his credit, the department worked over a year on this, almost a year and a half. And that's where they came up with a program called Elk Grove Cares. And what it is, is it's a wanted type program. No one's ever done it like this before. And matter of fact, the U.S. Department of Justice called our program revolutionary. And what it is, is a lot of times people try to help someone that had the disease of addiction, whether it's alcohol, opioids, other things. Sure. And they would get them help in a, a substance abuse location, but that was it. We do the opposite. We take them from start and hopefully forever to the finish. And what we do is, when people call up and say, hey, um, I need help, I'm a drug addict, I need help, I'm an alcoholic, we say, no problem, come in and we'll get you help. So you have found that many people have taken advantage of this problem? 150 they, people so far. They have called they have in come, on their own? Yes. They realize their they have this problem. Yep, and or they're a family aware member of brings them oh, in, uh -huh. or someone brings them in. Mm -hmm. And um, we've actually picked up people in the past and brought them in. And what happens is they come in, and let's say it's a drug problem, uh, opioid addiction. They come in. If they have some opioids on them, we take them, confiscate them, destroy them. We do not arrest them. We get them help. So we, no shame. Not at all. We have a room set up while they wait. We wait to get them into a treatment center. They stay here at the village hall. A police officer is assigned to them. They stay with them. They talk to them. They give them comfort and all that. And then when we find a place to take them, we will actually take them there to the place. And we work with Share, Gateway, and others. And they go in for inpatient treatment, usually 25 to 30 days. Then when they come out of that, we haven't forgotten them. We still keep in contact with them. We find them a halfway house. We find some place to go. We help them find jobs. We continue to stay with them and track them for perpetuity. We've got one young lady that was in Elk Grove that was a young girl that was an addict went through the program, succeeded, went down to Florida. We still keep in touch with her, and she's doing phenomenal. Another woman mm -hmm. was an alcoholic. She was an alcoholic since she was 15 years old. She wasn't sober for 43 years until she came to our program. 43. She's now been sober almost four years. We still keep in touch with her. So in other words, we don't just put them in a place and leave them. Yeah. We stay in contact. We help them find places to live. We help them find jobs. Matter of fact, Tom Walters of Tasty Catering, former addict himself, told me early on in this program, very early on, anyone that gets through your program here, we will hire at Tasty Catering. Mm -hmm. And he's hired several people, still some working there. So it's unique that we take care of them, we help them, and we make sure they have a future ahead of them. Now, not all succeed. The average addict will fail seven times before they finally beat it. We don't have a three strike rule in Elk Grove. We will be with you as many times as it takes. And we've had several people come through several times. But people say, well, why do you do this, Mayor? Why do you do it? Right. I say, we do this because it's easier to treat them than let them go on the way they are. Mm -hmm. People have a lot of break-ins of cars. As you know, people right. break into cars, right. get something out of it and all that. Most of those, if not almost all of them, are addicts. They're looking for some quick cash for a quick fix. Well, so even if you don't agree with helping them, then agree in making your car safer. Let us get them off the street, get them help, get them cleaned up, and reduce crime, and no one's going to be breaking your car. That's the hope behind it. So we're very proud of it. We're celebrating our fifth anniversary this June, and it's come a long way. And we actually make an announcement, which I can't quite yet. Oh, you always like these teasers. Yeah, we're expanding <laughs> our program, and we'll be announcing that on June 4th. So our program is going to get bigger and better. We've got a presentation from our congressman, Raja. He got us a $500,000 yes. grant this year that will help. And we've had other things coming on that we're going to announce that day. We've got some special announcements. But 
More or less, we're there to celebrate our fifth anniversary of truly making a difference in the battle against the disease of addiction. The disease of addiction. And really. if you were the first community to do this to kind do of program this. in the country, show you how it is, Sue. It's funny because we have coffee with the board four times a year. And we were at one of our coffees a while ago. And um, a young lady was there and she goes, Mayor, she goes, your town was talked about when you're in New York City. I said, New York City? She goes, yeah, we're on vacation out there. And a police officer in New York City came up and asked, hey, how you doing? Where are you from? And they said, oh, we're from Elk Grove Village, Illinois. He goes, oh, I know your town. And they looked at him and go, well, you visit? You have family? No, I was down in Texas. I heard your deputy chief talking about the CARES program. He goes, matter of fact, we're making the New York City program modeled after Elk Grove's. Now, the biggest city in America, Pride. 7 million people. Is modeling after Elk Grove Village. It makes you proud. And our uh, chief, uh, Gaspari, went to Texas, to Alabama, and he talked about this throughout the country. And the program is nationally recognized as a unique and one of a kind, as Jay, or the Jewish Show Department said, it's revolutionary what we're doing. So, Mayor, how are we going to celebrate this five year accomplishment? Well, a couple of things. First off, like I said, we're going to make some big announcements that day how the program's doing, and then we'll bring the community together in a unique way to kind of celebrate, celebrate the change we made and differences. So we're going to start off at 3 o'clock, from 3 o'clock to 5 o'clock, over in the parking lot by the library where we do the tree lighting oh. fireworks. We're going to have a car show, and we're going to have a car show for everyone to come by and, you know, see the antique cars and the classic cars, all that. Are a and lot of our residents, are they owners of these oh, classic yes, they cars? Oh, yes, they are. We've heard yeah. from a lot of people. They're they excited about it. Them? Yeah, they like to show them off. They sure. go to different car shows that exist around the area. And we're going to do a little different, too, is we're going to have Tony Ocean there that's going to be doing a concert during the car show with classic music from St. Sinatra, Sammy Davis, and all the rest, kind of tie into the old antique cars. And we're also going to be doing, at the same time, a food truck event going on. So you can go by, look at the cars, hear the music, also get something to eat with the food trucks. And then at six o'clock, we're gonna have a concert. We're gonna have the grassroots Aww. playing a concert, set up like we normally do our midsummer concerts, right there the stage by the clock tower, facing toward the um, businesses there in the town center. And so we're going to have a concert there from about 6 to 6, 7.30. Uh, should truck. the residents bring folding chairs? Bring, like in just the like a normal concert series, mm -hmm. bring your chairs. You want to bring your own food, you're welcome to bring your own food. But we're going to, again, bring the community together yeah. in a fun way. We know how popular summer concerts are. Boy, we thought, what a way another to do one. That. We love those concerts. Yep, another one. And we're excited about that. Like I said, car show, Tony Ocean, then the grassroots, food trucks sitting there all the time from 4 o'clock until 7.30 feeding people, and something different and unique for all of us. And something really to celebrate. Now, when you say car show, will there be any other special kind of car be on well, display, if you know what I mean? I would think there might be a rather loud one kind of coming oh, so quickly into the area. Uh, but so you will bring yes. it out again? Oh, yes, the, uh, definitely. The Makers Wanted Car, number six car for Brad Kozlowski, will be at the show, uh, that people will have a chance to see it. Because think about it, one month later, is the is big race the big in Chicago. Race, yeah. So June 4th, that Sunday's our event. It's 28 days later, four weeks from that day, that car will be racing in Chicago. Uh, I, I have to ask, you know, the staff here at uh, EGTV, I think asked last time, number six car, how did that work out with channel six? Well, was it's just, just pure luck, I oh, hope, oh, but oh. I'll take a little credit. No, yeah. I, it was just ironically <laughs> really, that Brad's that number, number is six. six. And does tie in beautifully to yeah, Channel to, 6. To Channel so 6 here. We're excited about that. Matter of fact, um, we'll probably be seeing Brad on Channel 6 TV in Oak Grove soon because we're going to be interviewing him. And he's going to be talking about different things tied between racing, Elk Grove Village, Makers Want It. So we'll make sure Channel 6 is well known to not only the race car, but also on Channel 6 TV. Boy, June 4th. This is exciting. Just kind of takes us right into the summer season. We all need that. Well, and that's what we thought. It was a nice way to kick off the summer season. I know we have a concert starting in July. Uh, with Rotary Fest now moving to July, yeah. we really have a gap from Memorial Day until the 4th of July concert. So we thought, let's celebrate the fifth anniversary. Let's do a special concert car show event here. Then we got the car race come up on the 2nd and leads right into the 4th of July. We have Casey and Sunshine Band coming yeah. to get us a great summer going forward. 
Well, as I, certainly this uh, CARES program is something to be very proud of. And we are. And, we are. So, I there's, mean, there's many programs to be proud of in Elk Grove, but I can I can see how excited you are and the pride that you take, rightfully so, in starting this one of a kind, to really help people that is so important. Um, exactly. For, for health, just for their life, for their family's life, and for the community as a whole. People don't realize the disease of addiction affects right. more than just the addict. Certainly. It affects the family around them. It affects the community around them. And that's what we try to tell people. And that one thing we're trying to get over is the stigmatism behind right. it. And to know there's a place that they can go. Many people are struggling. They know they need help sometimes out of embarrassment, shame, or just lack of um, places. That, but to know now that they can come to this community and you won't just drop them. You no. will stay with them. We're with them. And remember, if you come for help, if you have insurance, it pays for it. If you don't have insurance, we pay for it. We've got the grant money. Uh -huh. We've got more than enough money. We will pay for your treatment. We'll pay to get you back on your feet. We'll pay to get you a job. We'll pay to get your housing. We will get you set up for your future. And if, God forbid, failure happens again, we're there to help you again. We don't drop you. We stay with you through this battle. And people need to understand, it is a disease. You know, I had <laughs> bypass surgery. I have heart disease. <laughs> No one was afraid of me. They didn't shun me. I know people right. that have um, cancer. No one shunned them. It's a disease. The disease of addiction is no different. No one wants to be an addict. Yeah. No one wakes up in the morning and says, you know what? I'm going to become a heroin addict today. Let's get started. No. no. It's a disease. They know how it ruins their life, their family, the yes. cost. Um, it's, it's just a terrible And we path. need to address, attack that disease like we did heart disease, like we did with cancer. Mm -hmm. We're now attacking the disease of addiction. And the more we get rid of that stigmatism, the more people will come for help. Mm -hmm. And more they know about us, that they go, well, I have no insurance. Don't worry. We're going to help you. We've got millions of dollars in grants helping us do this program because the state, the federal government all realize how much benefit we're providing by doing this program. So we're using their money yeah. to help right. protect our people. And again, grassroots here. Yes, Start here and, and that's why it's expand. perfect. The yeah. band, the grassroots. Oh. We started at the grassroots uh, yeah. of this problem that's, and built up. That's it. And again, you don't have to live in Elk Grove to get help. I can't tell you how many people have relatives here that reached out to family members who maybe live in another town, brought them here, and we helped them. We're not saying it's bounded by Elk Grove because addiction of disease of addiction doesn't have just Elk Grove people. And the effects, they might be Schomburg people right. robbing your car. Mm -hmm. So they don't have to live in Elk Grove to do damage to you. So if we can help that person get off addiction and get them straight, that helps protect Elk Grove too. So again, no matter where you live, no matter who brings you in, we're here to help you. We've got the money, we got the resources, and more importantly, we have the heart yeah, that's to make what you sure mean. they can beat this disease. Yeah, compassion. Yes, we do, big time. And a reminder, it, uh, just like me, spring cleaning time, go through your medicine cabinets, um, things that are out of date. I was very surprised when I actually read what this is, and I said, oh my goodness, that's one of those really and, ones that can cause. And Sue, if you're addicted to that and you came in with it, we wouldn't arrest you. We take that from you, destroy it. And then we say, let's right. help you. I, I knew I was coming you. today and uh, being on the second floor of the municipal building on the first floor is where you have that yes. box right by the where police you window. can take your outdated Tylenol, yep. anything, because you just don't want it uh, thrown in the regular trash. So and I Sue, can't no even pronounce asked. what some of these are. And no questions yeah. asked, Sue. We're not going to ask questions. Same thing if you came in and say, hey, I am addicted to this. We'll say, no problem. We'll destroy that. Come on in. We're going to help you. We put our hand out and we help you beat the disease mm -hmm. of addiction. And that's the key to this thing. We're here with you to beat this. We're not letting you go alone. We're partners as we go through this. And we're not gonna leave you alone when you come out. We're gonna stay with you, follow up with you, and make sure if you need help or you slide back, we're gonna get you the help again you need. We're gonna right. beat this, we're gonna win. Uh, uh, that's where it starts, and what a wonderful thing. Um, it's priceless what, uh, what this program has done for so many, I say 150, but it's not 100, there's 150 addicts we've helped. There's thousands of family members, yeah, right, the, community the members offspring. that have been impacted by, by those addicts. By getting them help, you now make life better for all those thousands around them. So it is not just an individual issue. Mm -hmm. It's a community issue. It's a national issue. It's a worldwide issue. 
and we need to attack it and attack it strongly like we're doing. And our hope is, like New York City did, people start following our lead, we expand our program, we help more and more, and someday... Wipe it out, huh? The disease of addiction is cured, like we've cured other diseases from polio and all the rest. Yeah. We're going to beat this thing, and we can do it by working together as a community, supporting each other, and more importantly, understanding it's the disease of addiction, not self-inflicted addiction. And, and you can also have some fun with it on June 4th. We can celebrate the achievements we've made. We come together and say we've done it. And we're going to do better. We're going to not stop. This is just another day in the battle. Yeah. Mayor Johnson, you always come with such uplifting information and exciting new advent events that we can attend here all with a good cause. Well, thank you. And again, I thank this community. Without the support of us all coming united together, we couldn't do it. But we are. And I thank you for all you do. You're helping to spread the word out there. We're going to make sure we keep working together and win this battle. Uh, thank you, Mayor Johnson, for stopping by today. Thank you, sir. It's always a pleasure to have you with us. I enjoy it, and I can't wait to do it again. Okay, see you June 4th. Yes. Thank you. We will be right back with the rest of our program. Welcome back. Today my guests are Matt Harold and Carrie Ann Ryan, and they're here to talk about a new nonprofit that supports Alzheimer's disease. Welcome, you guys. Thanks for having us. Hey, it's a very important item that we need to talk about. So tell us more about the nonprofit. So it's called LMJ's Lost Souls Alzheimer's Fund. Um, it started in January of 2023. Um, Carrie Ann and I have both been big supporters of the Alzheimer's Association. Um, I met Carrie Ann through the, through the Elk Grove Chamber, and uh, at that point um, didn't know how close we were going to become. Uh, as friends um, because of this unfortunate connection that we both have um, to this disease. So I'll let Karen talk about LMJs and where the name came from. Yeah, okay. so um, LMJs uh, started as just a team for the Walk to End Alzheimer's, which we called Lost Souls. And um, we always were supporting the Alzheimer's Association, which we still will be doing. But when we decided to um, take this out to our you know, take this on uh, by ourselves as our own nonprofit. Um, we wanted to add uh, more of a personal piece to it. So LMJs stands for um, my grandmother and Matt's mom, okay. who were both affected by um, Alzheimer's. Uh, Laverne was my grandmother, and Mary Jo was Matt's mom. So we put those together to make LMJs Lost Souls. Okay, okay. So obviously you you have family involved, and uh, what do you do to what are you going to do to reach out to more people to help? Um, fight Alzheimer's. So we're the the nonprofit, and it's got a couple of different pillars. Um, community is very important. Um, number one, so we're going to the money that we fundraise. We're wanting to reinvest back into the community and work with some local um, memory care facilities. Um, that's a big part of this. Another big part of this is research, um, and uh, we we want to be the reason or part of the reason when a cure is found that it was something, we feel like we did something. So when we can get money directly to research studies and figure out who that is, that we find the right study that fits what we're looking for, and then look back on this hopefully five to 10 years that we put X amount of dollars to that research study and that was the break that happened. So we wanna stay local with the community involvement, but at the end of the day, the whole point of why we're doing this is to find a cure. Well, for so everyone, no, exactly. exactly. Yeah. It's nice that you, but you're going to work more locally. Um, so hopefully you can, well, you're going to be able to pick what your money goes towards for right. we'll have control certain areas. Over it. And, yeah. But it'll be in the local area of Elk Grove. Correct. Yeah, and yeah. we um, we basically grew the the team itself with our fundraising efforts. That's kind of our meat and potatoes of you know how we got to where we were. Um, in fact, last year we raised $104,000 um, just for the team. That was our biggest year yet. That's kind of, uh, it was a great starting point for us to say, hey, I think we can do this, you know, on our own. So um, events and um, fundraising, you know, type programs are a big part of what we're doing. Okay. Um, we have an array of events on the schedule already for this year. I think we're going to talk a little bit more about those, um, yeah. you know, coming up. And then the last piece of our of our pillars of what the um, nonprofit is about is education and support. So, um, you know, there's a lot of 
resources out there with the Alzheimer's Association that we will be able to filter people to. A lot of times just doing what we do, people come to Matt and I thinking we're kind of experts in the field, and, and we're not. Right. We have our own experiences, but um, we want to be able to you know, get those people to the right place and have them be supported um, no matter what stage or you know issue they're having caregiver patient whatever um, and then also we want to get out in the community and um, grow our speaking part of it and, and just educate people even if it's just solely an awareness thing so that more people understand about the disease and you know that there's it, it, you know that it's a huge problem I think it, it's great uh, because I don't think people really understand Alzheimer's as much as mm -hmm. they should. They just think it's you're losing your memory and things mm -hmm. like that. And they, and what to actually probably look for. But you have you will be able to to funnel people to the right direction on where they could go for help. And it's not just about the funds and that, but it's right. more about, like you said, the education for people that that can help them because. When somebody's sick, obviously they need some kind of help. The the families need help to how to navigate what's going on. So, and the biggest yeah. thing we talk about is you know Alzheimer's affects the person, but to your point, it the, the family, family that you know does the person unfortunately at a certain point has no idea that they have this. The family that's impacted and as Carrie Ann says, if you haven't experienced this, unfortunately, just wait because with the way. This is continuing to get worse and worse. You know, whether it's a personal connection to a family member, a really close friend in, in their family, it's unfortunately, statistically speaking, going to happen to someone close to you. You're right. I mean, it's unfortunate, but I think we all have someone that we know is touched by it. So it, mm -hmm. it's very nice that you guys are able to do this. So what do you have? What do you have coming up that uh, for, uh, say, uh, events? Well. We'll talk about one that we just finished first, so why don't you talk about that so one? So we, uh, to support local in Elk Grove, we did a guest bartender um, event in April uh, at Coach's Corner. Um, that uh, was a new experience for myself being a person who's never uh, poured a drink. Because he is going to be the guest bartender, by the way. Um, so I never <laughs> poured a drink before in my life other than for myself, so uh, that was a new experience. Support you know, for this others. is for other people, not just for you. <laughs> exactly, <right? Okay>. absolutely. <laughs> okay. So that was uh, really, really cool, and that was kind of, the first big first event that we had yeah. with the nonprofit, you know, name out there, and now we're deep into event planning and uh, event season. So we'll so start June yeah. 9th. Um, we have the Golf Tend Alzheimer's, which is the eighth annual uh, time that we've had the golf outing um, for that. So uh, that will be at Glendale Lakes, local, not too far from uh, Lake local, Street. Um, correct, Lake Street or Army Trail in that neighborhood. Yeah, so yeah, okay. So yeah. in Glendale Heights. Um, there, again, Friday, June 9th, um, we'll have, uh, click the QR, or you can scan the QR code and uh, learn more about it. We have, co we're always looking for more golfers, more sponsors, more raffle prizes uh, with that event. And uh, again, that's Friday, and, June 9th. And this is one of our, it has historically been one of our biggest events. Matt um, started that event and has, you know, taken the lead with it for eight years now. Um, and we... We just look forward to continuing to grow it and, um, you know, focus on what it can do to help, you know, in this arena. So, and then after that, that same month, we do a lot in June. June is Brain and Alzheimer's Awareness Month, so okay. we we tend to have a few too many events in June, but but we can handle it, right? Absolutely. <laughs> so June seventeenth, we are doing. Um, this will be the fourth baseball to end alls. And we do that at the Boomer Stadium in Schaumburg. And um, that event as well has grown from, you know, bringing in a couple thousand dollars to bringing in over $10,000 last year. Um, and we get some proceeds from the ticket link. So when people buy tickets, which um, we have a QR code set up for that, just to come out and enjoy the event. Um, we have some sponsorships available. We do an amazing custom jersey. So all of the boomers on the field are wearing a spe specific custom jersey really? that's created just for us with our sponsor, which happens to be American Family Insurance this year. Um, and um, there's just a whole bunch of you know fun pieces that go along with that. So it's a really a different type. The thing that we like to do with our events is we like to make them fun. Yeah. So something different, something unique, and something fun. And that's I think, has helps with our success for um, you know, the effects that we get from those events. So 
and then the jersey part of it with that they're auctioning off the jerseys right. after oh really the players yeah. jerseys. Exactly. yes and so, they well. you know if people go crazy for these jerseys oh, yeah. so yeah. it's a silent auction throughout the game and people are auction you know they're trying to buy the jersey not just because it looks really cool but also because of the player that's wearing it sure. so it, it's a great um um, partnership with the Schomburg Boomers. They have been wonderful. I mean, in general, they give so much back to the community, but um, we're very lucky to be a recipient of, you know, one of their one of their events. So, and then we have one more event I'll coming up. Show the, the, this is a new event this year. Uh, we talked about golf outings, been eight years strong. Boomers has been four years strong. We're doing an afternoon tea to end ALZ, which is going to be July 8th at Belvedere banquets in Elk Grove so uh, this will be a, a new experience um, but it'll be a three course tea menu your traditional tea party um, there uh, it will be um, I will be happy to volunteer as I know nothing about tea but uh, booze to tea yeah, yeah, so. well, that's, you know we're trying to hit the different audiences sure. and this one's really you know we're trying to focus on you know moms and and bring your little one and we're looking at you know little miss or little mister we don't care we just want you to come and have fun and have you know have a, a fun little tea party and we'll do some additional fundraising you know while we're there it's not just about coming to eat the little tea sandwiches and drink the tea so <laughs> something different you know yes, I, I want to see you serve tea. <laughs> <laughs> um, we have a painting party in may we have a big giant prom party we're planning in september um, so there's lots of fun things um, coming up that we are very excited to to roll out with this new nonprofit. Now we'll have things on the screen. Mm -hmm. the people have it, but where can they go to find out everything that's happening? If is there a website or yes. something? Yes. Uh, and we'll put it on the screen also the website. But so our website is lostsoulsandalls.org. Okay. Okay, so if somebody's out there interested and they mm -hmm. want to just see everything. Everything's on there, you know, our mission, our pillars, all the events, links to everything, um, all the current events that are, you know, that you can register for, everything's on there. And, you know, we're, like Matt said early on, we're, we're always looking for um, sponsorships for many of these events. And we, you know, we do a really good job of supporting our sponsors and getting them out there and getting them on, um, you know, on our social sites. We have Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, you know, that we're always promoting those sponsors per event. Um, we're always looking for raffle prizes, depending on what type of prize, you know, that, you know, gets you, your name out there as well. And, um, and then, of course, people do attend and just oh, come yeah. and have fun at all the different things we're doing. Now, how can local businesses get involved? I mean, we're always we're way we're always open, and we're open to a variety of ideas. You know, the guest bartender thing is an idea to work with a local business. Oh, if it's more. with a sponsorship, if it's you know any kind of idea, um, you know, the more you talk to people and the more we talk to businesses, the more we quickly realized that, like we talked about before, the connection is there. Mm -hmm. So either not realizing that there's the Alzheimer's Association or not realizing that there's a nonprofit in your backyard that's supporting local, you know, just word of mouth. I mean, we're always open to ideas, whether it's coming up with a new event, you know, these mm -hmm. events that we do, um, I'm always willing to try something, uh, you, you know, from the attire that I wear. I'm oh, yes. willing to try anything <laughs> if a business wants to work with us. Sure. And so that's, you know, we we don't say no. We just say how. How can we do it? Yeah. So that's, that's what you Yeah, we want to do. be creative and, and we want to be loyal to our sponsors and, and, you know, just really give them everything we can because okay. we are so gracious for the support that they're giving to us and to put the, we can't do any of these events without sponsorships and without the donations for raffles and, um, and, and then, you know, in turn, they're helping us provide something fun for, for the community and, and for our, you know, audience out there. Now also, does your website have a little more information of like, mm -hmm. besides the events of why you started and more? Yes, absolutely. We all have that, so. um, all of that laid out to, to explain to people, you know, why we chose the name. We, we have um, a monthly blog that's explaining the different people who are involved in this organization and why. Um, and then we're even going as far as to building out the resource page, which is, you know, giving people those resources we talked about earlier, even down to, um, you know, massage therapy for brain health, you know, different things that can help people, you know, in this arena. So, yeah, it's, I, I think it's a pretty good website so far. It's got a lot of good information for people to figure out what we're doing and why. Sure. 
And then going back to the business thing, just real quick, you know, we are 100% a legit 501c3. We provide all the tax documents. It's 100% tax deductible and all that. So that's Perfect. a key piece of it. Obviously, mm -hmm. you sure. want to know that, you know, you're it's going to the right place. But also from a business standpoint, you're getting the benefit of that from from the nonprofit. A as lot well. of businesses have you know money they set aside for mm -hmm. this, and of course they want to show that they have a write off. So why not? I mean, you know. Absolutely more power for them to, to um, write off some taxes. And if they're going to give the money away, why not to you? Absolutely. Yeah. So, so is there anything else you'd like to add? Yeah, I'd love to talk about um, a campaign that we have running called Text to Donate. So if anyone out there does want to, um, you know, give and, and help us out, we have a special phone number set up for, um, you know, donating straight to our cause. It's 847 744 nine two two three and all you have to do is text donate that's it yep and then they put the amount of money our, in it there, goes right? straight to our <laughs> website and it it walks them through oh the okay donation takes process. them through perfect they get to choose what they want to donate okay great so yeah we're here for one reason and it's yeah. to find a cure for this because mm -hmm. there is no cure out there um for alzheimer's um and we're gonna continue to do everything we can to to find a cure it won't help our Mom, uh, my no, mom no. and her grandma. But Somebody's got to start mean, somewhere. Exactly, and that's exactly. where yeah. if we can get people to not experience what we've experienced, that's the whole goal here because it's a terrible experience, and yes. I wish it on no one, and that's what we're going to keep doing. So well, we appreciate all, you and people like Elk Grove TV to be able to promote yeah. this. So. Well, whatever we can do, and I appreciate it. Your dedication is really not, it's great. So we, we thank you for that. So, yeah. so Carrie Ann, Harold, or Matt Harold, <laughs> I'd like to thank you guys for showing up and telling us about this important issue. I think uh, hopefully all these fundraisers will bring in uh, some more money and help with the research. Yeah, Thanks thank so. you so much for having us. Uh, our pleasure. Thank you for watching this episode of In the Grove. We'll see you next time.